uploading what I want. It is I, the one who has come to waste all of your time. Oh, but first and foremost, I have to tell you, Doomsday by Design is out, and it'll be in the description. I've worked for at least eight years on that, and I have to mention it first. I'm sorry, but I'm so excited. It's the first publication from Free Speech Press, and it's out, baby! It's the first of the Doomsday Chronicles trilogy. Now, into the subject matter of the video here, actually, you know, what you might have actually come here for. Well... I done found a rocket out in this desert. Yes, we're playing Boom to the Moon. Investigate the source of the weird broadcast. Oh, and also, look at your radio, stupid. There's a r weird broadcast. I turned New California back on because I missed this. This isn't your daddy's radio. And I also, uh, yeah, this is part of the playthrough. I'm just not doing them episodically anymore because YouTube hates episodes of anything and it is with its algorithm, viciously attacking anything that requires an attention span. But now, my lovely Irishman is here to interrupt me, so... Hello! Oi, kid! Watch out for her! Little munchies of the munchies! We have a little black kitten! We have a little black kitten, and he's got one little crooked ear, and it's the cutest thing ever. She's not black! She's not black! Yes, she is. Mostly. Well, she's tortoise shell, but she looks black right now. She, you can only see a couple of her little spots. Well, you turn her over, there's a few. Yeah. It's on her tummy and her toes, and there's one polka dot on her eye. <laughs> I'll post a picture of her in this if I think of it. Oh, yeah, Katie and Slayer are in here, too. I'm in the RV. That's what other fucking lovely ambiance is. Welcome back. What you mean, ambiance? Uh, oh, welcome back to Camp Shithole. What's, is it this Oi, one? Oi, I'll shit you held. No, it's not that. Okay. It's a whole lot of shit. That's right. Oi. I've Don't touch the microphone. That. Don't touch that either. No, you're going to make... Oh, I just started. You're going to make stuff fall. Don't... What the bloody shot is Give that? Give me those back. What are they? They're antibiotics, you thief. They're Liar. from my fucked up tooth. No, li seriously. Liar. Read it. Liar. Nope. Liar. Give them back. You gave those to me, you dumb fuck. I know. They're mine. Yeah, I'm putting them up there so you don't fucking lose them. I you were not fucking lose them. I was going to take one for my teeth because mine are gone. <laughs> Give it back. He's a bastard. I got fucking others. horse pills. They're huge. I got others. All right, well, I, I know I just said we're doing Boom to the Moon, but apparently we're just doing this. So. Hey, what's wrong with this? Reintroduce yourself. Hello. He is the one that screams and is Irish. I do not. I do. <laughs> Oh, my head. By the way, I have a headache. It's really bad, and it's been there for six hours. Hey, I thought it'd been there for eight years. God damn, I'm so glad I'm home, and you're making all this fucking noise in here. I'm not, well, You said you, you had know. to do stuff in the back. I I'm a noisy right. fucker. What kind of sigh? He moved something so he could sit down. He's not leaving anytime soon, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. God fucking uh, damn it. He told me having that. Well, what do you say, love? What you doing? Say. What you doing? Slayer. You're making the dogs excited. Now they're making noise. Good job. Hi. <sighs> Midnight is the garden of good and evil. I told somebody that other day. Yeah. That's her name. Midnight. Midnight is the garden of good and evil. Yeah, okay, fine. You know, it's just going to be midnight, right? Nobody's going to say all that shit. Oh, like they don't say Katie bar the door. Yeah, they don't. The bastards. <sighs> Anyway, I like this place. Look at that blunt stick. What a what an interesting trap. Who is this a trap for? Like a smoker? Look at that. <laughs> oh, I want to live in this truck. Whoa, kitten little, what are you doing? Quit hitting the grate, you fat ass. Why do you all have to make noise as soon as I'm recording? Anyway. Uh, this place is so homey. This is what I like about Boom to the Moon. It's very homey. We did good work here. Oh, it's got a tingling. Look at my loading ba bar wheel thing. Isn't that beautiful? The loading screen looks like a fucking loading screen. It's like a miracle. Hey, buddy. Oh, you got a red pit boy like mine. 
Please. Kind of. Please tell me you're here because you heard the emergency broadcast. Um. Sure. Oh god, what's wrong with your face? What the fuck are you doing? Jesus. Yeah, uh. I couldn't hear the recording. I tried to play it, but it wasn't working, and also a guy was screaming in my ear, so I wasn't gonna hear anything. But I did come because of the broadcast, so what's the matter? That's Agnesa. My name's Anaximander. I'm glad Anaximander. you're willing to help. It's a shame I can't really do it myself. Shut up! Anyway, to be honest, this is probably gonna sound pretty crazy, so why don't we sit down at that table over there? Uh, just don't sit on the chair with the pillow. I got a back injury, so I need that one. That's funny. I got hit by a truck once, and I do the same thing. I'm doing it right now. I've got a big-ass pillow behind my back while I play Fallout. Well, that was easy. Oh, God, look at this place. All right, everyone, scooch. Scoot over, Foxy. Don't worry. All right. Please, sit down so we can talk. You... Oh are going to the moon. I am? Well, I don't have my TARDIS. I... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there is that rusty rocket outside, so let's say I believe you. Okay, let me try to give you the rundown first. There's a moon base on a crater near Mare Sarantitis. The crater is called Terrus Iridit. The station isn't that big, but it's all very hush-hush. Yeah? My wife, Agnesa, is stationed there. We were in contact just fine, but the <gasps> signal's oh, gone sorry. silent. That can only mean they issued an emergency lockdown. I worked at the moon base myself as an anti-gravity technician, but I got sent back after an accident. Mm. So I'm sure something bad must have happened. Now you, my friend, We'll go to the moon base and see what's up. It may end up being nothing, and in that case, you'll have a hell of a story to tell. You just have to get some stuff we'll need to give the rocket the extra boost required to make it up there. The magic, and voila. I would do it myself, but I'm sort of crippled, so yeah. What do you say? I think you could still do it. You seem like you could... I mean, I know exactly what you're dealing with, buddy. What you need is painkillers. <laughs> you can still do everything. You just need to numb that shit. Um, so, you mentioned an accident? What happened? Uh, well, if you really want to know, we just received a shipment of food and stuff. We were bringing the crates in through the big catwalk when I stepped on a weak spot. Before you say anything, our spacesuits have gravity modulators, so you can perfectly fall and snap a bone while stripsing around over there. That's stupid. Anyway, they had the guts to blame me. The catwalk was broken. I may not have been paying much attention yet, but, well, I fell. It sucked. You'll see how tall the catwalk is once you get there. Besides the broken bones, I slipped a disc so my spine got busted. Mm. Hurt like hell. Couldn't uh. work much then. So they sent me back and found someone else. Heard he also asked for a lot less pay, so maybe they would have fired me anyway. That's awesome. Did you... This, this sounds pretty huge, man. We live in a fucking wasteland. Who's behind this moon stuff? Uh, I'm afraid I can't tell you. They, uh, made sure we never mentioned it to anybody. Surgically, if you catch my drift. What? What is this, the fucking Illuminati? They put chips in you? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I, that bitch is still back there talking. And What? What? What, what do you want, faggot? <sighs> you know, you know why the Irish are like that? They're fucking all screaming and loud because they've all made each other go deaf and they can't hear anything. That's why he's like that. Oi! What, you fucking queer? What do you want? Yeah! <laughs> it's funny how you like to fuck queers. 
Ha 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 God, could you be a little fucking louder? I'm trying to do something here. Look at her. Look at her. She's, She's chewing, chewing on, on a on stick. stick. Kid Little's chewing on a stick like a dog. That's the stick is in here because of the dog. Hey, the stick of the day. No, I thought you might need this, so I brought it yeah, back. Thank I'll, you for being... Can you put this up there? My fucking God. Dude, I'm recording. Get the fuck out. Record this. Here, can you do all these chores right now after you had a long talk with me about how I don't need to be interrupted doing this? Yeah, that's that's what we need to do. You could just get fought, sweetheart. <laughs> that's what you fucking heard in your brain. That's what the demon told you. Why did the demon tell me no such a thing? That fucking lord. Okay. You even realize what you're asking me to do? Of course. I'm not just some ghoul playing around with their space toys. I'm a real scientist. Sort of. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Listen, I know I don't look like much, but I told you, I actually worked at the moon base. If there's someone who can get you there safely, it's me. Mm-hmm. How long has the station been up there? What are they doing? About three years. It's all about terraforming the moon to grow plants there and stuff. Yeah. My wife is also studying the effects of gravity on humans. She's like, super smart. Smarter than me for sure. It's been ages. When you meet her, tell her I miss her. I can't wait to see her again. Anyway, hey, so far they've managed noise? to grow plants under controlled conditions. Growing them in the open is going to take a lot longer, of course. Yeah. They're talking loco and I like it. That's the spirit. Take this list. We'll need this ah, stuff to put fuck. together the rocket booster. He, he raised Please, my spirits and hurry. crushed them all with a fetch how long quest. We have. I haven't played this in years, I really years, need to know sorry. if Agnesa is alright. Oh, but where are my manners? Mm, uh, well, before you go, would you like to grab a bite, maybe? Oh. Oh, he loves me. Alright. <laughs> Calm down, Foxy. Where did that fool take you? Alright, well, Melody, arcade is broken. He disappears when you try to make him wait. Melody ended up following me when I try to make her wait, so we're just gonna need a whole bunch of Hey, can you shut the fuck up? You've been quiet the whole time. Every time I hear record, somebody's screaming and whining like a fucking pussy. Shut up. What it yeah. Yep, that's me. I'm mean to everyone. Welcome to the conspiracy channel. The new one. The new tiny shitty one. Because the old one's fucking nuked. Ten nukas and ten mintats. I might have that. Alright, back on track with Boom to the Moon now. Ooh, can I have this? Hey. I got what you needed, bud. Melody took one of your cokes, too. I hope you don't care. Ready to get started? Yep. And I just started recording again, and now Slayer's whining immediately, like he always does. I took him out. And now he's sitting on his fucking couch. I don't know why he's whining. I don't know what his problem is. But, you know, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I'm not being mad at all. Wow, this is a lot. Hmm. Shut up. You have everything you want. I already did everything for you. Shut up. Um, thanks for the meal, dude. No problem. It's nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Yeah, there's you don't a lot get of that us. many visitors around here. Okay, well, I got the stuff you want. But, seriously, I can't believe you're not going to tell me who's funding this thing, man. Sorry, pal. I told you. I just can't tell you. It's not all that exciting, anyway. Trust me. The Enclave. Oh, well, Katie, can you start whining, too? That would make it a great. That would make it great. Um, so, can you actually confirm 100% that I'm not going to get blown apart when this... You know, rust bucket outside. Ugh, stop being such a worry pants. I got everything under control. I own my way around aircraft. I got a degree in oh, all. Shit. Well, I just remember. I'll admit there is a tiny chance yep. the rocket may explode. But it's like ten percent. No big deal. Yeah. Fun fact. Years and years ago, whenever this mod first came out, the very first time I ever played it. And the very first time I touched the rocket, it blew up and killed me. So that 10% is real. <laughs> um, 
Well, okay. I have the stuff. I have Mentats and Nukas. So. You'll go up to the moon base at Terras Irredent to. Yeah, I know that. Um. I mean, there's ra I, I don't know about this. There's radiation meteorites and no oxygen. Jeez, what are you? Chicken? Nobody. Let's get cracking before I stuff you in the rocket myself. Oh. Oh, now he's all tough. What? Why are you just fucking whining? Shut up! What the fuck are you doing? He's laying his head on Katie's face. Or something. But he's standing all the way up. Like, just lay down, Slayer. What is your problem? Ugh, you dumbass. Okay, well, it seems like you really care about your wife. Of course I do. I love her. We've been together through a lot. Speaking of which, watch your tone when you talk to her. Some people have been really rude just because she looks a bit different. I won't allow it. Mm -hmm. She is beautiful. And if I find out that you've been mean to her, I will have a serious talk when you come back. You know, you can always find someone else to go to the literal fucking moon for no reason. Anything else you can tell me about the place? Well, there are four main buildings. The main facilities are where scientists work and spend most of their time. You'll probably find Agnesa there. Then there's the greenhouse, where the plants are being looked after. And the rover garage. And I think you can figure out what happens there. And last sure. is the comp relay. Agnesa has not Shut up! There. The central mainframe and radio control are on the second floor. God damn. There are also guest quarters for delivery personnel. I don't think they're expecting any delivery soon, so they should be free. Uh-huh. That's alright. Yep. I I have all your stuff. I don't Um Fifteen nukas and ten mintets. Wait. And a pot. God damn it. I Hello. really have to get you a pot. You have a fucking kitchen full of shit, including pots. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Ready to get started? Yep. Oh, awesome. Give them to me. Let's see. Yeah, this will do. Put this on the rocket and we'll be good to go. I'll handle the rest from here. I took the time to sock a locker outside in the porch. Get yourself a full space suit. Well, you're, take are you having like you a need. seizure? You alright? Left you some supplies, too. And take this. It's my old password. Don't know if it's still working, but it may be enough to get you into the base's main facilities, at least. It may be. I packaged a radio. I'm going to the moon. You better be sure. So I can give you instructions. And good luck, pal. Hope to see you back soon. Last words of advice, bud? Hmm. Well, as I said before, the spacesuits have gravity modulators, so careful. You will. What fucking idea was that, fall. by the way? Because it's very much so. The base is rather cramped. I'd recommend you go there on your own. But if you want to bring friends, keep in mind there's not a lot of elbow room. Oh, and oh, they're broken. There, they have to come with me. Need to cook you some of this mac and cheese lasagna. It is damn good. Sounds like it would taste good, and then give me heart attackies later. Better get around to it, huh? Yep. Okay. I'll be your Zen, dude. ding -ling. All right. Melody never went inside. Hi. She's just bored. All right. <laughs> Exploring the moon is best done on your own due to combined spaces, so it is advised you ask any followers to stay and wait. If you insist, however, remember to give them space outfits. It's just me, I'm ready. I'll tell my commanders to wait. I'm bringing everyone in, you can't stop me. Well, I have to. Some of them are broken, they won't fucking wait. Or they'll disappear if I try. Okay, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. I need five of everything. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I hope that actually worked. Whoa. Cool. Kiddo, do we need to talk? Because that's... You know that's not enough. I don't know what you saw in the cartoons, but... Doesn't work that way, kid. Doesn't work that way, sports fans. Come here, Niner. Okay, but I know exactly what's in there. 
you gonna make me take your stuff cuz yep I'm gonna have to take that Victorian from you cuz I know what you're gonna try to do ah, there we go yeah look at what you're doing you need the gloves too dingle face give me give me that Victorian Indeed. we'll get it back later thank you put the fucking gloves on are you wearing the gloves is anybody wearing the gloves is that what those are Okay, whatever. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Well, then what are you here for, okay? Really? To be a doctor? Ha. Huh. There you go. You need to give me that fucking suit or I'm gonna strangle you. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I locked it on him. It's hot glued to his sure. skin. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Boy, this is tedious. Give me the damn suit. What the fuck? Are you a witch? Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Okay. I'm lost. I don't know how he's doing this. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what I'm gonna have to do? Ah! Hot glue the spacesuit. Nutter, quit jumping. I'm not coming after you. I have a cat called Nutter, and he's a, he's jumpy. That's why he's called Nutter. What the fuck is going on with you, Arcade? You know what? If you're gonna be sure. like that... just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? You're gonna have to... You can't come to the fucking moon. Oh, this is... This is fantastic, Arcade. The one guy who has a mind for science is the one we're leaving behind. Isn't that just spectacular? Sure, just don't sure, treat just me like don't a pack Brahmin, okay? okay? Why don't you shut the fuck up, alright? Well, you're gonna have to stay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two legionaries and a strung out What's dipshit. Up? Yep. This is great. Thanks. You're the only one that could help us if something goes wrong, and you're just gonna fucking screw us like this. Oh, wait. Hold on. I better save. This is where it might blow up in your face. Uh, where's the pot? Yeah. Don't try to protect me, all right? You're so cute in your little pint-sized uniform. Okay, Foxy. You can have Ad Victorian back if you keep Indeed. the gloves on, all right? I don't like you not having it, to be honest. Okay. Well, you, you default to something else, don't you? Yeah, that's why I locked that shit. Of course. Give me it back. I'm sorry. I know this is tedious, you guys. I'll get to the fucking rocket. I just have a lot of companions, and I like to roleplay, and I don't want that to go away. But you know what might be helpful? If I was wearing the space shit, too. Yeah. Could be helpful. Could be. Slightly. You are a cucumber, and cannot run, fatty. Cool. What's up? Yeah, what do you think is up? Look at us. Hey, who turned out the lights? Can we put uh, some stuff in this truck? Yeah, I can lose all my stuff. Put all this shit in there. Good God in heaven. Why do I have all this? That Milkman mod got me a lot of stuff. That was on my, uh, fucking... Um... Mmm... Twitch channel. Niner's over there confessing his love to someone. Taking all bets as to which companion it is. What was I doing? Oh, backpack. I'm not wearing it for some fucking reason. Can I not wear it with my... Well, you better not do that to me. Are you serious? I can't wear the spacesuit with the backpack? Well, that's not gonna fucking fly, man. There's all kinds of shit up there that I'm gonna want to keep. I remember that much. It's not gonna help enough. But whatever. I'm ready to go now. He's not even gonna say goodbye. Yep. This is where we die, everyone. I don't have my TARDIS, so if we get stuck, we're stuck. We're fucked. You know how close we'd have to be in there? You 
know, if I didn't write such a long Fallout story, detailing how much my companions care about me and how much I care about them, I would really start to think that Arcade does not give a shit about us. <clears throat> this is a little creepy. Oh, I can't use my pet boy? I'm fucking thirsty. Okay. This is bang a -bong Chicken Radio Station on Earth. Do you copy? That better be you, Anaximander. And if it's not, I'll take a number five with extra hot sauce. I'm kind of st Oh, man, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe this worked. Heck, yeah. I told you to go well, didn't I? Oh, wow. This is awesome. Now, listen. I don't think there's going to be enough fuel for you to get back. So make sure to ask the others for Oh. Sounds like a tornado hit fucking Novak right after we left. Good. Yeah, he's dead. But we got out of there right on time, didn't we? This is where he fell from? Yeah, that's a drop. Welcome to Terrace Eared and Moon Base, Honey Pomelo Station. Shit. What, his stupid password doesn't work? Well, this is great. Still can't use my Pip-Boy. Okay. I have played this before, but it's been years, so I don't... Yeah, okay, this is the one. Alright. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, something just got weird. Oh shit. Okay. We can take the helmets off now. Oof. Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Then I'll send you up here with tampons? What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I need a drink. Cheese in him. Investigate. Yeah, I got that much. Thank you. Come on. Give it a try. Just a bite. I don't think sticking space debris in my mouth is a good idea. Really? Now? I'd do it. If I, I was up here in that board. It's not gonna kill you. Fine, fine. Jeez. Hmm. Hey, it's not that bad. See? I told you. It's good, isn't it? I guess. I don't know if you'll find anybody else willing to try, though. Nah, they'll come around. <laughs> this is so exciting. We can feed so many people with this if we mine it. Are you really gonna call it Chizenium? It's a working title. <laughs> so they're eating moon shit. I don't see what could go wrong there. Cool. Oh my god. Yep. Got an up got a present for arcade. Ooh. Hydrochloric acid. Oh shit. Dude, we could get rid of the bodies. I mean, uh I actually found some of that for real when I was going through our stuff. Forgot what we needed it for. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Take this? No. Nope. This is pretty cool. Like they did go through a lot of effort making this look like lived in and used. Oh, I'm not reading all this. Sorry. I know there's a lot of reading in this mod, but I'm very tired and I have a splitting migraine. So if you want to read it, pause the video and read it. I'm just gonna skim it. Hmm. I am going to try to read the terminal stuff later, though, because I know that's important to the story. I might get tired of it. Wow. God almighty. No wonder they all killed themselves. I'm just kidding. That's not what happened. Do we sh uh... Oh, no. You poor dumb bitch. Well, they're all dead. That's cool. Oh, man. 
I'm going to have to cheat to take this stuff home because there's a lot of it. <laughs> I can't pick up everything. Play it. Uh, uh, Niner, shut up! Uh, God damn. God damn. Don't eat the squirrel bits, man. Stay, uh, stay in good. I got dino nuggets. Would you rather have that? <laughs> There's so much new stuff and I want all of it. Can I have this horse? Alright. I got a horse. Oh, looky! Jesus. Confederation of Oblivion? What? Is this like a second person story? No, I can't do that. Oh, fuck me. Sorry about that. A cop called. And then it turned out to be a robot. Not what I need. I can't do this. I've never... I'm not gonna do all this. This is really cool that they put this in here, but... I don't, I've never played Ob Oblivion or Skyrim or any of that shit. So I'm not the one for it. Stimulating environment. These last months have been so exciting. I like being here with the people who understand the importance of science. It's always a bit awkward when meeting members of the team come. Yada, yada, yada. I'm probably going to summarize some of this stuff because I actually have to make time for writing and editing tonight too. And it's already dark out, so... Sorry, but... You know, I recommend playing this mod yourself because it's very immersive and very story driven. But me, I'm going to skim some of this or try to surmise it. Because there's a lot of reading up here. <sighs> and it never lasts for long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides Max leaving and Vincent arriving, our group has been going strong. Yeah. Max is what they call an, an Aximander, and Vincent is the guy that comes to replace him after he gets hurt. I remember, I know that. Whoops. I just skipped all the way through that. Last night I had an incredible dream, but it was like an adventure, a movie, or a game that took place in this medieval post apocalyptic wasteland. Sounds pretty weird, but I gotta write it down. How can I explain it? Oh, there's your fucking inspiration for that story you made in this computer. I could write my own book or make my own game. Yep. Called it Juicy and Gross. My plans to write my story on hold for now. Krista woke me up from a very pleasant nap to tell me something was up at the greenhouse. The boss was waiting for us by the door in full soup already, so we hurried out and saw that there was something wrong with potatoes. They had all rotted overnight. Okay, juicy. Kept coming apart. The whole batch is busted. How could that... The potatoes seem to have little pinpricks on them, but how could that have been possible? Poison! Hot date. I'm so giddy today. I was washing dishes after breakfast when Vincent came over and closed the door. He leaned against it and chatted for a while before he went all awkward and after some hesitation asked me if I would have liked to go on a date. When I laughed, he explained that this date would just be us going out to the second floor of the calm room so we could be alone and sneak some food, yada yada yada. It's so cute. Studies of Earth, yada yada. He told me about his interest in going out again tomorrow, whatever, Barry. Vincent gifted me a little teddy bear when we came back from our date. I named him Barry. Oh, that's what that picture is. It's those two. The potatoes are growing fine again. The boss is upset because this has set our research back. Who cares? The damn plants are obviously growing. Goodness sake, none of us got food poisoning, so they're all fine. Whatever. I don't care. I got a date. Replicator plants. I told Vincent today about my replicator idea. It would be a machine capable of... Fuck my tooth. Oh, God. It's worth mentioning that my teeth are fucked up and one of them is broken, so... it's another reason I don't want to do this much reading. It fucking hurts a lot today. Yeah, okay. Got an idea for something here. Yeah. It'd be amazing if I got this experiment to work and I'm sure Vincent will be proud of me. I got prepared for the dance-off, so it was fate. It was definitely fate. I dreamed of a farm near Goods Pigs where we get to live together. Aww. It doesn't hand up fucking somebody else. <laughs> Look at this teddy. This teddy bear is surprisingly heavy. Investing. Oh. Okay. 
There are several transcripts stored, but most of them have been damaged. The only one fully readable is labeled 3. Recording number 3, read it. Woman 1. Lisa, wake up. Woman 2. Uh, what? I'm not sleeping. I swear I'm... Valentina? What is it? Woman number 1. Have you seen Judith? We've been looking all over for her. We had to go to the greenhouse to collect the potato samples, but she never showed up. Woman 2. I don't know. I mean, she has to be around here somewhere. It's not like we can escape. Did you check the comm relay? Woman 2. Yeah, everywhere except the bo- I think this is supposed to be one. <laughs> yeah, everywhere except the boss's old room. It's locked anyway, so she couldn't be there, right? Door opens and closes again. Woman 3. Oh my gosh, girls, you won't believe this. Woman 2 says, What? Oh god, my mouth hurts. Woman 3. Judith just arrived at the greenhouse. The boss was there, and she was pretty mad. She asked Judith where she'd gone, and... Woman 1. And, woman three, Judith actually showed her, and shit went bad. She was so mad, she was pulling on the boss's hair and stepping on her glasses. The boss got a nosebleed and everything. Woman one, blah, 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 blah. woman two, is the boss okay? Woman three, yeah, although her face is a mess. Uh, I mean, you know, more of a mess. What the fuck? Just gonna be <laughs> new glasses. But let's be careful if Judith comes around. Woman one, gotcha, thanks for the warning. Recording ends. God, ow. Yeah, 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 shut up already. Yeah, take a nap real quick, just a quickie. With all these... Okay. Thank you. Ooh, we could use that at home, can't we? Excuse me. Come on, kids. Here. Lime snack cakes? Rocket man. Burning out his fuel out here. All alone. Oh, sick. I'm taking that shit. Peanut butter. Coffee. Coffee. Pot. More chocolate milk. I'm gonna have so many different versions of chocolate milk. <gasps> oh my god, look at that. It's a zombie slayer, Lincoln. Gimme. Do you guys want... I'm, I do have a ranch house to decorate now. From that other mod. I love Paula. Sure, play it. Aww, somebody wrote a love song. Haiti, Hades Journal. Many of the scribbles and notes are mixed with recipe ideas, new newspaper clippings, and sauce stains. Cool. This is a guy's journal, isn't it? <laughs> this morning I skipped making breakfast because I was at the generator room. Seems like people were not happy and had to make themselves breakfast. Oh, the horror, the horror, I say. This goddamn cat won't stop sneezing in my face. Well, not that I don't like him. Of course I do. But every once in a while, I need to go out and vent my frustrations against nothing in particular. I feel you, man. Even though I am fully qualified an engineer and I can't fucking talk, the place runs so well that this goddamn radio is going to make me kill myself. Things have changed a bit now that Max is back on Earth. Very sod. Lucky sod. Sorry, I'm stupid. Even though, even if the circumstances of his departure were less than ideal, he's still a lucky sod. But it's still ide idle time that... Oh my fucking god. It's still idle time that is not good for me. I need to keep myself busy. It's a fucking thing. How can I explain? I guess I shouldn't be eavesdropping on people to start with, but sometimes it just happens without me meaning to. You, we live in a goddamn sardine can, so it's gonna happen. I hear and say weirdly things, such as people saying my work is useless and faulty or whatever, but what can I do? I should just avoid paying attention to what other people think of my performance. I just need to keep everything working. And if both me and the boss are happy, then good. If she thinks something needs fixing, I'll fix it. I wish my dear was here. She'd know just what to say. Am I weak for feeling so affected by what other people think of my work? I mean, if someone thinks they can do better, they're more than welcome to do so. What do I need? Someone to fall on their knees and tell me how awesome I am? Am I really that insecure? I don't know. How about I just sit here and talk about it for 18 pages front and back? <sighs> I just feel so desperately sad. Every morning, I wake up feeling like I want to die. I keep writing for it to get better. I keep waiting for it to get better. But it never does. Days drag by, me hopelessly wishing for this day to be the one when my mood will be better. When the glum will go away, when purpose will find me, and will things be actually worth doing again? 
that the world will mind you that it's not. Man, I don't want to read this anymore. <laughs> Actually. Oof. Tough shit, guy. Anyway, Dan's birthday is tomorrow, so we're all really excited. I don't think you are, man. <laughs> I guess I should admit it doesn't take much for us to get excited over anything that changes the routine a bit. But birthday cake is fun. I've also decided to make a cake. I'll probably have to sacrifice some croissants. But whatever, man. I don't care. I'm done. Ooh, a dog. There's a lot of stuff going on in my stim stimuluses. Oh, well, you're dead. Hey, buddy. Ooh, a donut. <laughs> I found a donut on a dead guy. Sorry, I know that's cheating, and this is technically part of the playthrough, I shouldn't be cheating, but it's the only way I'm going to get through this without half of this video being just dropping shit and organizing shit and, you know what I mean, the fallout stuff that you have to do that's tedious. Daniel's journal. Oh, how I miss home. I feel like I'm going to scream every time I open my eyes and I see the white walls. Every morning I wake up but don't open my eyes right away, wishing so hard to open them and see the blue sky, hear the sea, but no. Here I am still, basically locked away in one of the loneliest places ever, so far away from everybody I care about. Not that I don't care about my colleagues here, of course, and I know they can tell my mood's bad because they've planned a big birthday party for me tomorrow. The boss even offered me the day off, but having nothing to do is going to make matters worse. It'll just be a couple of years, and then I can go back home. I just need to remember that I won't be here forever. <sighs> well, nighty night. Yeah. Ooh, a violin. Cool. This is such a mixed bag of finding really cool stuff and... Uh-oh, everybody's dead. <laughs> I'd have the cappuccino. Sweet. I've mentioned this before, but I'll leave this note here in case someone forgets. This thing is experimental. I'm still trying to crack the mystery of the deep science involved, so sometimes you will not get what you requested. But if you do, please let me know so I can take notes. Thank you in advance, Judith. Then she... Okay. Shut up, dude. Dude. Seriously. Fucking A. Do it again. It gave me a cup. Do it again. Have a very safe and productive day. <sighs> okay, it's just giving me cups now. Ooh. Big old treasure chest. Oh my god, you fat moron. Hello, I'm Dr. Butterfingers, and I'm here to crack the case of why everybody died on the moon. Alright. Thanks, Al, or Jesus, or whoever the fuck. Yeah. What should I do? Oh, God. Thank you. Al just breeds Jesus and the devil all at once. Wow, this is interesting. So much. So much. No, shut up. Wait a minute. Oh. How did they get that up here? Niner, I found chocolate if you'll shut up. If I fill your mouth with Nutella, do you think you'd stop talking for about a day? Literally at all. Oh my god, look. It's Beep Beep. Hey, Mr. Killingsworth has a new friend called Beep Beep. Now move it. Oh, a kitchen. <gasps> a kitchen. A microwave. Oh my god, what fucking universe is this? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, I'm gonna go freak out. Look at this. Oh god, the donuts. Grab the- I mean cans, not donuts. <gasps> I can't possibly- I gotta stop picking shit up. There's so much. Fucking- Oh my god! Look, satellite! And orange juice! Oh, pizza! Okay, get out. Everyone out. Let's stop doing what we're doing. Stop it. Alright, lavatory. Give me that. I need it for my house. Sponge. We're gonna need a sponge, aren't we? What? They have these? What? I don't think so. Oh my god. Give me just one of those. And this. Get this. I'm going to put this in my home. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Francis. Sorry. I didn't know it was Occupado. Yeah. <clears throat> this is not good. Everyone's just slightly dead. Oh, boy. We missed a party. Oh, a flask. No, that's not that kind of flask, is it? Giovanni. Boy, Team Rocket's going to be pissed. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, <gasps> donut. You know, if I came here and found everyone dead like this, I don't know that I'd be trusting their food enough to be taken at all. Oh. Then I'm almost over encumbered again. I added a hundred. I have to have that. Sorry. Yeah. Whoops, look what happened. Sorry. I'll fix that later. I just want to take this stuff back. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at them having fun out there on the moon. <laughs> we should take a picture like that. Shouldn't we? I know you're humorless, but I'm not. We'll triangulate and stripify nitri shapes to avoid doing the dishes. Please. Have mercy! Ballroom dance hall. We don't have a ballroom, but, you know, whatever. To whoever keeps going to the kitchen at night to eat nut mix. Clean up after yourself. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, God. Oh, man. Pool club. Aces in space. Free lessons every Tuesday. Lost. One copy of Cookbook for Boys and Girls. A frown leaf in kitchen. Shine a light on me. Let the midnight special shine an ever loving light on me. Niner, I want you to look at this poster right here. You see what it says, buddy? A drug and alcohol free workplace. And it gives all the reasons why you should stop taking stuff and shut the hell up, basically. Oh my god. Hell yeah, gimme. Oh, looky, looky. Like the midnight special. Fuck you right up the ass. Ooh. Hmm. That's very annoying. But I'm gonna lick this sink. I'm gonna lick it. Oh, look at this cake. Hold on. I wanna try something. I don't remember. Oh my fucking god, that is so annoying. When. Where can I turn that off? I don't remember, uh. Everything from this because I played it so long ago, but I do remember something was wrong with the cake, I think. So I just want to try something. Ooh, cool. That's not what I need. What was it? Cake slice or slice of cake? <laughs> I already fucking forgot. Alright, I think it's cake slice. I'm stupid. God, look at all this stuff. So, this is a lot. Where the fuck is the cake? Uh-oh. 
cake is poison and there's no cure in sight. Niner, move! We've left our only doctor behind. <laughs> Am I about to die? Let's just, let's just watch. <gasps> oh yeah. You feel the burning poison in your veins. Oh man. Oh god. Well, it killed everyone else here. I can't imagine my odds are very good. What if I just keep taking stim packs? I've never done that before. I've never eaten the fucking cake like an idiot. Whoops. I was just curious if it would actually like account for something being wrong with the cake. No! Oh boy. Oh boy, my chocolate milk's worn off. Probably shouldn't have done that. No! Oh, shut up. I don't know why I'm picking shit up. I'm gonna have to reload. Because that's probably just gonna keep happening. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that it would account for that. I just wanted to see if it would. Alright, now. Alright. The boss lady was Agnesa, which was Anna Anaximander's wife. This was her office. This is all her work stuff, which I'm sorry, I'm not going to read. Personal logs. Missing my man. I miss Max so much. My poor sweet chickpea. Sometimes I dream of him screaming in pain again and wake up with tears in my eyes. We've always been together, so it feels so wrong to be thousands of miles away from each other now. But we're keeping in contact. He's told me he found a place and has been having a good time furnishing it for us. Every month I send him a bit of money, but he, yeah, he's fucking furnished the living shit out of it. I wish he could come back. I welcomed his replacement, Vincent, and we all had to go through the grueling process of posing for the new group picture, sign of agreement papers, and all that fucking bullshit. I'm not gonna read all this out loud. My mouth really hurts. My tooth is fucked. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna surmise it. If you want to read it, you can pause it and read it. Choose me as the new station leader after, you know, yawn. I mean, Judah's been here for way, whatever, longer. Scobie's more experienced leading teams. Nobody's tried to fight off power off my van, so I'm not afraid of revolt, but it's really tiresome. Busy days of leadership. Whoops, I fucked it up already. Good God. I should write here more often, but I've been terribly busy trying to fill my paper quota and, and produce produce quality and all this fucking bullshit. <sighs> Vincent came. Wait, no, that's not Vincent. Fortunately, there have been some emergencies. Yada yada yada. That's the only thing Central's been trying to do and to have us non-native English speakers write down a journal entry in the language once a week. Why would they even want that? What purpose would that serve? I don't think I'm going to bother unless it becomes mandatory. <sighs> The terrible burden of leadership is still weighing me down. <sighs> Gotta do my share of the chores, cooking, greenhouse. On a lighter note, I've received several requests for commission for beer today. Jimothy mentioned last night how he'd heard one. Oh, I think Jimothy might be the one that fucked someone. I, I can't remember. Not Vincent. Whatever. For her jewelry and such, Jules said it was impossible. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Board to spinal the action. Jimothy came over this morning, again, after he managed to almost completely sever his right hand with tendons, again. I asked him what the hell he is up to over at the garage, because this is the third time this month, but he just shrugged and said he wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna have to ask Central for more healing supplies. Spinalist, sometimes I found myself a bit bored, as crazy as it sounds. There's not a lot for a doctor to do here. Considering the people in this program were chosen because they are healthy and strong, I've got nothing to do besides good old knitting and nursing to Jimmy's Jimothy's interest injuries because he's fucking here constantly and he's got a crush but he won't tell me ha 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 preparations for the dance offer in full swing yeah dinosaur nuggets as a prize yay I had to tell Hadley not to include them this week okay and later Judith brought me a croissant to thank me for pairing her with Vincent how cute is that New friends. Yet another very delayed writing here. I've just been busy. I guess that's how I should write it down. I've just been spending a lot of time at the garage talking to Jimmy. Uh-oh, scary -os. Even though I'm getting along with everybody just fine, despite a straight scuffle with Judith, I had to report to Central. We're paid this month. Oh my god, the waters on Mars have gotten to moon. 
gotten to the moon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a Doctor Who joke. Don't worry about it. Apparently my name is too difficult. He sees me as more than just the boss. Apparently my name is too difficult. So we could spend a tough time in silence. Yada, yada, yada. Max was always chatting about something or another. But why am I even comparing them? Max is my husband. Jimothy is a friend. That's all there is to it. Speaking of Max, I've been slow in replying to his messages. But he writes so often it gets a bit suffocating. He probably feels sort of lost on his own down there. But I think he's living near Novak. So he should be able to talk to people and at least make some acquaintances, right? There have been several str strange accidents and, and happenings in the greenhouse lately. Besides, the potatoes are rotting overnight, and it's all fucking weird, and I'm so tired of talking. My face hurts. Turn for better. Look at me. Another very delayed entry. It's been almost a month now, but at least I have some big fun to share. Dan's birthday. Birthday was a blast, or so I heard I couldn't participate because I got a fever. Spent the day in bed. Jim Elfie left me some cake in the fridge that I haven't eaten. Speaking of him... Oh, what have I done? We were sitting together in the garage a couple days ago, listening to the radio, chatting about something or another. Nothing out of the, out of the usual. He sat next to me, we, he held my hand, and before I knew it, we were kissing. I tried to stop him, but my hands were out of control, and dressing him and touching his hair in his face. It wasn't me, it was my hands. Thank you, Fahrenheit 451. I didn't steal the Bible, my hand did it. And next I knew, we were laying together naked on the top of a sleeping bag, just like a fucking movie. There was a cut to black, and I blacked the fuck out. Alright, well, we made love again in my office, so I guess I could have stopped it, but I just didn't, because it's happening more than once. And since then, we've been together at least once a day, sometimes even more. I think the others know, but nobody said a thing. Lisa seems to be avoiding me lately. I know I should feel terrible for Max back on Earth, but I can't. Jimothy is so much more suitable for me. He's serious and strong and smart. He doesn't chat and whatever it is he has to say, you can... Rest assured, it's, not, it's actually worth listening to. And besides, it's not like Max is going to kick down the door and catch us. <laughs> I feel a lot happier than I've been in years. I'm not going to let that go just because someone may get their precious feelings hurt. Max needs to grow up and behave like an adult instead of following me around like a lost puppy who doesn't know shit about the world. It gets tiresome, you know? He's just so unaware of what's going on and of what I need. Oh, he's so happy go lucky he doesn't realize he I feel like I'm choking. It makes me want to smack him sometimes. <sighs> well, this is tough. I mean, I never I'm gonna agree with cheating, but I know how that feels too. Uh, yeah, that's that's tough. It ends here. Everybody's gone except for me and Vincent. Judith was the last to go. I tried to take care of the others. I got sick one at a time, bled and fainted, never came to. But now I know what happened. Judith told me, and I confirmed it after I extracted a blood sample from her. Hadley and Danica. To compare. Okay. Oh, Judith. She was on the floor of the hallway and couldn't move, so I brought her a blanket and some painkillers, but she refused them. Then she told me she'd been on a, in a relationship with Vincent. Not that it... It would be any of my business, and he had plans she didn't know about. She said Vincent told her he'd poisoned the cake right before he disappeared this morning, and the tests I ran on my leftover slice indeed show alarming levels of hydrogen peroxide and dipomanic acid. Hadley's blood had almost four times as much poison as the others, probably because he ate more, poor bastard. <sighs> Judith said she was sorry, but I told her it wasn't her fault. How could she have known? However, before she died, she cried. I could see the heartbreak in her eyes as she slipped away. That bastard Vincent has been eluding me since then. Insane considering how small the place is. But when it is just the two, just two people, well, anyway, I definitely will find him. I managed to force an emergency lockdown. I usually need to notify Central first and their response is usually automatic, but our connection seems to have been severed, so I haven't received a response yet. I sent out an emergency broadcast now to all the other stations in Central as well. Hopefully the priority will be held high enough to make it through. <sighs> okay, well, I also sent a condensed version to Max back on Earth. Maybe he'll be able to help somehow, although I doubt it. What could a crippled man living in some rundown desert shack do to help an elite group of scientists on the moon? He could send me! Well, save the game for God's sake. I don't want to do that again. Wait, isn't there more? <laughs> Black box. 
black box of information. Alright, I gotta find a black box. Black box and override card. Okay, well, this. Why did he poison everyone? I don't know if I ever actually figured that out. I think so. Okay, well. On goes the helmet, and here we go. Oh, the gravity modulators. Did they add that just so they wouldn't have to have us jumping 10 feet in the air when we did that? That'd be clever. Oh. The hell was that? Something fell. Oh, a little rover fell down. Key to right ore. I need those, but I can't remember why. Yeah, you can collect them things, right? Oh. <laughs> of course. How could I be so stupid? Ooh, look, I can go back there. Maybe, if it'll let me. No, nope. fuck you, bitch. Okay. Isn't there a fence or something that has something behind it I need? I... <laughs> That's all? You thought the gloves would be enough? So you could follow us up here, buddy? My God in heaven, I can't believe that happened again. That happened five years ago. One of the organ harvesters popped up on the moon with nothing but the fucking gloves on because he thought that would be enough. And immediately died because there's no air. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> really? What amazes me is they show up with the fucking gloves on. Like, he thought about it. He, th he put some space stuff on because he thought that would be enough. Like, are you kidding? There's some place with... Fenced off that has something I need. Hey, sexy, hungry? Shut hey. up. You make us some nice surprises. See so what you do is you get a dead thing, you wipe it off, you show it a match, and then you eat it. Alright, there he is. He's gotta be real quiet. You drag the suitcase toward you. Very clever. Very clever. Wasn't there something where you had to find a stick and drag it towards you? And then the mono author got rid of that because everybody was annoyed. <laughs> hey, you dragged it towards you with your hand. Very clever. <laughs> Snarky. Have I tried this already? I think I did. Yeah. All right. Move it. Oh, that's what I need. All right. Gotcha. All right. Well, now that Mr. Useless, who can't figure out how to go back, one on Hulu, has his little magical TV working again. Let's see if we can do anything here. God damn it. Fucking bugs in my face. Can everything just try to stop me from playing a stupid game? Everything in the universe? There's cops outside. I'll be goddamned. I'm not getting up. Fuck that. You can come to my door. We'll have a shootout. And then it'll be fine. Quit picking shit up. Oh, blanket. Neato. Stop it. Stop Hi. it. But there's so much cool stuff here. Use terminal for 342. You dyslexic retard. Okay. Oh, it's hell. The fucking Hulk? I have a Hulk comic? Is this the kind of toothpaste with fluoride in it? I mean, like, you know, pretty much all toothpaste. Except for InfoWars toothpaste, which I haven't tried yet. I've been meaning to. I just am fucking broker than hell. Oh, but Doomsday by Design might help me with that for a little bit. Every time I come up with a book, it helps me a little bit. 
I eat just a little better for about a month. Just, just take it off. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is falling down in here? Are you fucking kidding me? Can I just goddamn sit here? For the life of any fucking thing? Because if I find out someone's fucking with my window outside, you're standing right where that fucking gun is pointing. And I hope you can hear me, bitch. My 357 is sitting with a loaf of bread, but it is loaded and it's pointed out the window. Anyway. Sorry, I'm sitting in my RV and everything in the fucking universe is trying to stop me from just playing this goddamn game. Including shit falling down from nowhere on my table around where the window is. 342. Unlock the door. Hey. Anything yep. going on? Yeah, we just found a fucking gold mine. Kiddo. Just being slightly dramatic. Usually, when I think something bad's happening, it's not. But I, I get to, I've gotten to that point just because it's happened so many times for real that I, you know. Uh, ooh, a watermelon. Mine. This is cool. I like this place. Where the but I don't think we need to be here. Such a lovely day. It's like a parade of all the most annoying fucking people on the planet, isn't it? Somebody's gonna shit themselves. And it's me! Cool. Quit touching the fucking grate! Go back to sleep! Why do you wait for me to be recording? Damn, you're like as quiet as can be when nothing is happening. And then when I need to focus, it's time for everything to fucking hit, everyone to smear shit on the walls and scream. Come on, you fat ass. Mash your head on the fucking... <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Another lonely day having breakfast alone here again. I usually don't mind it, but today I wish... This is Jimothy, by the way. He lives in the fucking garage here. Oh, shut up already! Quit coughing. I don't want to have to think about your fucking health. I'm playing a video game. And by breakfast, I mean... Just left some juice, yada yada yada, whatever. The engine is constantly clogging up. Huge pain in the neck. I'm considering taking it apart again, whatever. Unrelatedly, I guess I destroyed any chance of me making friends once I brought a sleeping bag to the garage. The boss didn't like me sleeping here and said something about regulations, but nobody else seems to have cared enough to say a thing. So here I am. I do have everything I need. Food, bathroom, rovers, tools, whatever. This is my own station. I should give it a name. Since Max left and Vincent came in, the boss seems distracted. She probably misses him. Can't say, say, I can't say I care much. Oh my fucking god. I mean, he was a nice fella, but he was sort of a non-entity. But, coming from the guy pur purposefully isolating himself from 11 other people on a damn moon base, yeah. I admit, I'm pretty lonely, and I wish more people came around. I just sort of instinctively respond curtly to their questions, so they tend to leave right away. He's just lonely. He's got no charisma. British guy. It's kind of sad to think about it, but I was on my way to the main facility this morning, and when I looked up at the sky, I just stood there for a while. So many stars. It's an incredibly beautiful sight, but nobody here seems to care. We have all grown used to it, haven't we? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We barely look up when we go out for a walk. It's as if it isn't a big deal. And yet, here we are, on the damn moon. It's no small thing. It boggles the mind. Yeah, whatever. We walk around, we don't... Have our heads pop under the pressure. It's crazy. <sighs> I ain't got work to do. Yep. Things have been getting better, believe it or not. None of the boss, none other than the boss herself, has been visiting me. This is good. I spend too much time thinking about Alina, thinking about what will never be. And here at Honey Pomo, I'm sure I'm at the very bottom of the pecking order. Not actually having a scientific degree, so I get paranoid about the others making fun of me behind my back. 
but I'm hoping the boss presence here may encourage the others to talk to me. And, of course, chatting with her is pretty pleasant. She's smart and has a quick wit. Once you get over the shock of her face, she's actually really nice looking, too. Her eyes make me think of cocoa milk. Well, that's not a very that's not very flowery, but it's the first thing that popped in my mind, and I, I like cocoa milk. I don't know if I should consider this good or bad. I was up all night thinking of how I could try to spend more time with the boss, and I got I cut my hand. <laughs> yeah. Came back and managed to pop the stitches after she fixed it. The boss told me to take the rest of the day off. So I guess I've got an idea. Maybe if I have a couple more accidents, not lethal of course, then I get to see her some more. I feel terrible thinking this stuff. I mean, she is married, and I even know her husband, for fuck's sake. But he's not here, and what he doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Note to self, get something for Dan's birthday, but what? Uh, he likes orange juice, I don't fucking know. Luckiest man in the world. Wow, I can't believe I did that. I mean, I'm happy, of course, but wow, I had no idea I was so brave. I've outdone myself. I guess I was in high spirits after Dan's birthday. I got to attend. Nobody said I couldn't. And it was an amazing, it was amazing fun. We chatted, sang, ate cake, played games. Oh shit, he's a dead man. He's dead. Boss couldn't attend because she was sick, but I still had a wonderful time. And one, one day we were sitting together in the garage. I was just poking around for a minute trying to move the little pebbles that got into the engine. And so da 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 da. Yeah, we all know you banged her, dude. Yep. Looked at her and kissed her as she sighed, and before I knew it, yeah, it was good, very good. Afterwards, she was a bit upset, but she came around. Yeah, no shit, she's married. Oh, wait, I didn't read the last one. Sorry, I didn't skim the last one. Hero, it goodbye, I guess. <sighs> I haven't written in here in a long time, but things have gotten s gone south in this place. We're all sick, except for the boss. I feel weak. My muscles feel weirdly soft, almost spongy. I've been coughing blood, so I know I'm going to end up like hate. Hadley, Francis, and Valentina. So I snuck away tonight. I don't want Agnesa to see me like this. I don't want her to see me die. I just want to have a warm shower and go to sleep. And dream of her. It was a cake, wasn't it? I could have made her sick, too. If I had, if I had insisted on eating the slice I left for her in the fridge, thinking about it gives me chills. It's taking so long to write. Everything's fuzzy. I need a warm shower. I need a hugger. I'm cold. Oh, fuck. Oh, the water's still running. Oh, man. Oh, this is so horrible. No, don't drink it, you sicko. Turn it off. Can I not? I guess not. Well. He's a dead man. That's so sad. Oh. I mean, very human. These characters are very, very human, aren't they? As soon as you press press play, you're greeted by the loud sounds of a very enthusiastic couple having an. It. Turn it off. Wrong tape. Cool. Oh, wait. Weapon repair kit? Where? Alright, cool. Goddamn bugs. Get the fuck off me. Can I just sit here? Jesus. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember picking that shit up. Didn't I need a tool to go pick up rocks? I gotta make some fuel so I can get the fuck out of here. Right? What? Yeah. What, kid? What is right? Put your fucking hands away, dummy. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I got the black box. I got Agnes's card. Well, I'm gonna shit my britches. I go in there? No, not there. Uh, what was the other place? What's that place? The glowing tower. Yeah. Right. That's where the rocket is. This is the one I haven't gone in yet. Hi. 
Yeah, I know. Isn't it? Am I retarded? Is this the one I've been in before? Oh, no, I haven't. Think this is what her proper office? Oh right, yeah. She was a doctor and she was left in charge. So right. Do you? Oh come on! What is my science? It. Well, eat a book. Eat a book. Come on. I can do this. Whoops. No, don't drop shit. I need all of this forever. Speech? My speech is maxed out, but sure. That was energy weapons? Okay. Well, what do I have for science? Oh man, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh man, yum yum. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, sure. This one? That's medicine, of course. Everybody knows that. Computers? Science? Yeah, that's helpful. So I'm at 99. I need one fucking point, really. I picked up a big book of science, too, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes. Okay, do it. Oh, this relationship is definitely civilization, organization, reservation. No, I could get it wrong. Yeah, no shit, come on. Laboratories. Appreciation. Civilization. You fucked it up again, retard. Why can't I skip this? After the first time. Come on, I don't have all fucking night. Conversation. Organization. Resurrection. Da da! Oh yeah, this is Agnes's fucking... What it, Coco Shova, so restless and anxious. I've been a bad at habit of rubbing my tongue against the back of my upper teeth to the point where I bleed, and the only way to stop is to clamp my fucking Jesus Christ. It, this is Ignace's regular office, isn't it? So it's more her stuff. Bloss lady. Well, like I have a purpose, you know. My knees hurt from sitting around all day, so I work standing up. I wander around the office, listen to music, have a snack. Makes you feel less useless, like I have a purpose. I wish I had someone to talk to, so... I have so many plans, so many ideas, so many exciting things I've made, and nobody to share them with. There's Max, of course, but eh. I need some new acquaintances. Friends who share my interests so we can discuss. I feel so sad. I want to scream. Nothing gives me hope. Locked in this place as I am. I've had to round up most of the sharp objects in here and give them to Haiti so I don't go back to the old tricks. Oof. Oh my god, my tongue hurts. I just can't. I can't stop. It's so sad not to have anyone to chat up. I haven't had much sleep lately, and I just want to talk to a friend. But I get so panicky about becoming clingy. Who likes that kind of sticky friend? I even remember myself in my younger years being annoyed at all those girls who just hang on to me, follow me around, ramble about their meaningless problems, like thoughts, ideas, and dreams. I never cared. Now I understand how I felt. I wish I could go back and change things. No wonder later on all of them started turning their backs on me. In the end, Max was all I had, and nobody else would talk to me. He was the only one who stuck with me during our whole life, our whole life since we were just toddlers. He was always there when nobody else would even look my way. Kind of sad way to form a relationship, especially considering I'm so broken that not even his good intentions managed to reach my heart and light up the dark corners of my soul. Nobody would ever be able to fix my past. He broke me. It will never get better. I haven't been able to come up to terms with it, and I don't think I ever will. Nice. No, God, fucking stop. So lonely. Yet another sad morning. I went to sleep at nine last night. I got up early. Didn't fancy leaving around bed, so I got up and yada yada yada. I'm fucking sad. 
I don't know, I even have the excuse of PMS. What with my missing organs and all. Oh, okay. This lady is deformed or something, isn't she? Grabbing a croissant from the box. She just told me there's coffee in the replicator, but it's so noisy. Yada, yada, yada. Again, I'm gonna pair, I'm gonna skim, and if you wanna read it, pause it and read it. I'm, I'm in pain here. Hmm, <laughs> Scooby stopped me before and asked me to lunch. Da, 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 da. Not sure, I think I'll, whatever, I don't care. We've had some visitors lately. Delivery crew Milo and Lovelace sent a couple of their assistants. Yada, yada, yada. Haley was happy to see his son, too. Cool. But the past week's been awful, because nightmares on nightmares every single night. I had a nap on the couch, and it happened again. I have to take some pills if this continues, because my head's all fuzzy, and it's not good at all. Da -da 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 -da. I still wonder if he made it. Perhaps I sh could try to track down all Oliver. Uh -huh. Man, track of foggy has gotten so bad that I feel literally sick. Shaved half my hair off, see if it helps. Well, this lady's got a lot of issues. <laughs> like, real bad. I'm annoyed at myself. I had stopped. I hadn't been in years. Then it only took one plug for me to be back in full force. I'm a doctor. I know what this will do to me. I've read papers. I've seen pictures. I know what we like to try to explain what happened to the surgeon in charge of pulling out the trickle. Hmm. <sighs> None of this is pretty, but the sound, the snap, the urge to taste it. Before I know it, it's gone. It's sickening. I'd rather be addicted to Jed. Cool. Good old days. I've been thinking about my childhood lately, digging through the old memories, trying to figure out the earliest. It's all really confusing, but I recall being about three or four. Maybe I was at Max's place, and he turned his radio on because he wanted to teach me a slow dance. I can't remember the songs, but I remember he laughed at my clumsiness. He was wearing a top hat he borrowed from an overseer's office. Uh, they're both from a vault. Cool. They danced for hours. Yada, yada, yada. He walked me to the place, but as always, he was not allowed to enter. It's definitely the earliest memory. Surprisingly clear, considering all that's happened. The next memory is that night, on my 10th birthday. I've never written about it, never talked about it to anybody, not even Max, especially not Max. It feels strange to put on paper. How can I write it without sounding whiny or fake or ridiculous? I don't know. But maybe writing it down will make it easier for me to see the whole picture. I could see myself in my bedroom, lying on the bed. I was probably reading a book. Then my father came in. He did not have his jumpsuit on. He said he loved me and that today would be special. He told me... I can't even write it down. I'm really empathetic. But after that, it happened often. Eventually, he took me to those parties with his buddies where they passed me around. I can't understand how nobody ever noticed. My mother was too busy with her own dramas to realize, I guess. Same with my sister. Looking back on it, I'm surprised I managed to keep it from Max. Maybe it goes to show how disconnected from reality he always has been. Back then, sometimes he'd pick me up for a date at the diner just hours after I'd been spending quality time with my father and two of his friends. And later on, he didn't seem to notice the slight shivers when he touched me. How could he not see? Well, how did anybody not see? Maybe it's not all Max's fault. Maybe I am just a good liar. I really should stop thinking about this. Yet another day, I wake up wishing I could just drop dead. Same old Samuel. Dreamed of me and Max and met a genie in a bottle. And we were offered a wish. I just stared ahead as I said I wished I had never met Max and I could live somewhere else, far away. I could hear him gasp. And after a pause, he said he just wanted me to get whatever I wanted. And that I'd be, he'd be happy, you know, to give up his life. I wish that goddamn radio would turn off. I'm trying to fucking read here. He'd be happy to give give up his life if that would make me feel better. Now I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Though. So sappy. Ugh. Ate some bread with chocolate spread. Still no coffee. Wait for my hands to warm up a bit more before I start work. I hate writing with clumsy fingers. My mouth tastes awful. I've been thinking of places I'd like to visit once I'm back on Earth. Antarctica is always on the back of my mind. Nobody seems to understand me wanting to visit such a barren place, but there's something so fascinating about it. The endless expanse of ice and snow, thousands of years old, wind-worn and silent, as far as the eye can see. The absolute silence, the cold, the icy gales blowing by. I even have the perfect music I'd play, on the volume, of course, while standing there on a glacier. Would that even be possible anymore? I don't know. It would probably take months to travel there, not to mention the prices would be crazy. But we're getting good pay here, so maybe, if I save up, I don't know. 
It's probably just a pipe dream. But it's something that keeps me going. We had monthly organizational meetings last night. Regular stuff. I don't care. I don't want to read anymore. My mouth hurts and that is fucking horribly depressing. Hi. Shut up, Melody. I want to look at your face, alright? Sure. No? Okay, then. Good God. That lady is screwed up in the head real bad. Spooked. <laughs> what the hell? Did that really work? <laughs> cool. Oh my God. Huh? Hi, how are you today? Melanie, you're gonna have to shush. Oh, stop picking shit up. But, but this stuff. Oh, but this stuff. I need all this stuff. Boy, well, weren't you hoping for something riveting and exciting? Well, here we are, guys. Here we are. Oof, what a cramped little. Oh shit, a person. Who the hell are you? Oh my god, you have a scouter. Can I have it? Vincent. Uh, you're the guy who poisoned everyone. Whatever, I don't have time for this. Oh yeah. god, oh god. I don't have my gun out. Yes. Hold on, oh, everyone. Oh. Oh. I hope the scouter's okay. Well done. Thank you. Well, at least I avenged them. <gasps> I still have it there. Wow, that is. Alrighty then. Cool. Oh shit. Hey. Quiet. You guys. Oh man. She does have a fucked up face. Okay. Sure. I suppose it means I'm gonna need DNA for something. Find out where Agnesa hit the black box and oh and the override card. I have the black box. What? Oh, I don't remember where this shit is. I think this is the part that drove me insane last time, because I couldn't find it anywhere. Do I not? Welcome. You are not found. No, okay. Um. Where's this? But I already have that. Due to security reasons. Location of black box and mainframe override card are only available to the station leader. Currently at a 17,031,841-2. Uh, I have her hair. Is that close enough? Please wait for the system to verify your access level. Checking for high level security clearance key card. Found. Checking for compatible DNA biosignature. Found. Checking for Honey Pomelo Station Black Box. Hmm. Not found. Really? I picked the Checking damn thing Checking for up. Central Mainframe Override Card. Not found. Oh, God. Access denied. You stupid bitch. Don't give me that fucking face fallout. Going... Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm not good at this fucking... Really, really good God. Yeah, turn it off. No, can we, can we please? Oh, good. Oh, God. No, I don't care about your song lineup. Okay. Cool. Stop trying to sneak in your own tapes in the radio playlist. We don't do that shit. Why? What? Does it matter? Which one is it? I can hardly hear it over this shit. 
Oh, what's that? Listen, lady. Final confrontation. That's probably just the sound of her dying. Well, who wants to hear that? I do. Under emergency lockdown. What do you mean there's a lockdown? Override it then. Vincent, stop. You won't get away with this. Boss? What are you doing here? I didn't eat cake. I know what you did to the others. You poisoned them. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> Answer me! Sorry, boss. But you leave me no choice. What? What do you mean? What do you fucking think he means? He's there to kill everyone. <gasps> what a wise and such a <laughs> lovely day. Thanks, Niner. Funeral song. Here she is. Sing to her. Just say the words and I'll be. The bars down to watch. Mm -hmm. Coco Bay. No, not the bench, you idiot. There's a fucking... What's this shit? Yep, nothing important. Oh, I don't remember where this shit is, and I don't know how to find it. And hey, look at that. I scooted it towards me, but I didn't pick it up. Okay. Betrayal. Yep. Betrayal. You got that right. Okay. Good. Nice. Oh god, don't jump. Alright, now it's just the fucking card. The final card. Uh, it's the final countdown. I wanna look in the garage. Look, I feel like it's in the garage. I really wish to slide this back. Niner, shut the fuck up. Why do I feel like it's in here? Because the boss lady was in here all the time. So she would have... Maybe... Right? has to be in here. It's so annoying. Good God. Yeah, okay. This is... Ooh, cool. Well... Isn't this just the funnest thing ever? Retrieve! Retrieve that damn card! Come on, please. Yes! Okay, thank God. And I need a tool to break rocks or something. Let me save. Because this fucker's gonna crash as soon as I get this done. Vaping, sorry. Tool to break the ice, tool to break the ice, tool to break the ice. Nine iron? I doubt it, but I'll take it. And it's a hammer. It's a fucking hammer. The walkthrough said it was a hammer. I hope those are the right hammers. I will harm myself. Okay, where's... Come on, come on. Thank you. I need... What, seven? That was one. Seven. Seven times the charm up here in Rock Valley. What are you doing? Shut the fuck up, I don't know. I'll have that cheese stuff too, because why not? I need fucking seven of them orange ones, not the yellow ones. Orange. Come on. Number two of orange. Oh, another one of these. Ah, food. They just crash them fuckers all the time, don't they? 
three. One little, two little, three little rocks. Four little, five little, six little rocks. And then eight little, nine little rocks. Or we will all die here. Come on, come on. Hi, how are you okay. today? Four. Four times a, a woman or something. I don't know. Da, 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 da. I have formed an idea. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. God damn it, I can't use my fucking pip boy. Which means I can't use my binoculars. Which means I can't look afar. Figures. Oh, there's one. Five. Are you okay? Shut up. Past the tube. I don't remember. A6, do you want some chips? I'll kill you. It's out most of the green parts. I will end hey. you. A6? If I was stuck on the moon with him, I might actually kill myself. I'm, I'm not that far from it, just in my regular life. But if this happened to me, you can rest assured. Only one of us would be flying home. I have five and I need seven. Come on, I'm so goddamn close to getting the hell out of here. I'm giving him the worst fucking news of his life. She cheated on you and then got murdered. So thanks. Are you gonna give me a check or. <laughs> fucking A. Well, this is fun. All a bunch of scavenger quests, isn't it? Oh shit, oh god, oh god. Niner, I was lying. Pull me back. Oh god, oh god, alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> that might have sucked. Whee, look at that! Yep. Alright, one more, one more. One more for the money and two for the show. Three for your deadlines and four for your hoe. Ugh. Come on, one fucking more. I don't like walking on sunshine here, man. It's making me nervous. Man, oh man, oh man. Boy, this is just fun on the button, I gotta tell you. You know, I could cheat, but. Trying not to. I'm trying. Oh boy, am I trying. You look so weird in your little fucking costume. Is that cheese shit? I don't need no more cheese shit. You ever think the courier has psychological problems? Because I think they would. If, if the bullets in the head and the buried alive didn't do it and every fucking thing else they go through really ought to push them over the edge for serious good god almighty come on one fuck get off the sky Ugh. look at you you've given up that's the spirit i feel you man i feel you something fierce fucking god Look at this, this cheese one is sideways. Mm. So irritated, come on. One fucking more and I can be done. I already went back here. God. Did I go behind the grid? Yeah, I did. Fucking A, man. Was there one inside? Did I already pick one up? I love this one. I don't think so. Move it, move it, move it. I don't remember. Pee 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 pee
three to your right. I have eight? Damn, I have all of them. How the fuck did that happen? One of them must have been in here. Everything. How long? Yeah, do that. Okay, 24 hours. We can kill 24 hours, can't we? I'm not sleeping in there. There's bodies. Scooch. Yeah, there's less bodies in here. Here we go. Longest nap ever. The loudest car ever. Driving by outside. Welcome to ASMR. Camp Shitholes ASMR. <sighs> Once I move out of the country, which is actually looking like it might actually finally happen soon now, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to record anymore. I really don't know. But <clears throat> that shit should be done now. So one little sip of Yum yum, and we can get the hell out of here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge forever. Probably should take the fuel, right? Yeah. And you, give me my damn drug. I don't know what you gave me, but whatever. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> and we are off. Yep. Okay, something's happening. Wait, wait, come back. Big mistake, friend. Oh, jeez. What a welcome home party we got here. Hi, mercenary. You're not helping. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, come back and wait. Stop. Stop. Hey, you're back. Yeah. And all in one piece. Tell me, is Agnesa okay? Is she with you? <laughs> well, funny story. <laughs> I'm afraid I have bad news for you, man. Oh no. Please. Tell me it's not true. You should have been there with her. Who the fuck did it? Tell me now, I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna get into that rocket and... I already killed him, man. Agnesa. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what to say. Oh, should I welcome her back? <laughs> I didn't even plan to... <laughs> you know... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at this. <laughs> I just looked over and saw one of my dogs. <laughs> Katie's sl sleeping with her face pressed up against a metal cage and a metal grate. And her, her lips and face is all smushed up. And her tongue's hanging out and her teeth are hanging out. And she's just sleeping like... <laughs> I know how you feel. I lost my dad a long time ago. Oh shit! Fallout 3! Damn, it's like it knows what I'm going for with this character. By the way, Fallout Sandra, I do have a giant story I'm working on her still. And I can link that in the description too. And fun fact, Sandra was actually taken and repurposed as my main character for the first Doomsday book. Yeah, it has nothing to do with anything, but yeah. I know how you feel. I lost my dad a long time ago, man. Wow, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't want to well, then, play the comparison me, game with him. What happened at the moon base? Well, a guy named Vincent poisoned all the cake. Vincent? I think that's the guy they hired after I left. I can't believe the bastard. I wonder who he was working for. Yeah, we need too. to go there and find out what he knows. How much fuel does the rocket have? Well, Is there enough for the two of us? Mm, he's... He's, uh, he's dead. He attacked me and I had to kill him. Self-defense. Sorry. Oh. Well, he got what was coming to him then. I guess Central will take care of the rest. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Anything else? No. I think that's all there is to it. I would have asked you to bring her body back, but there's no need. 
Central has probably sent a cleanup team for disposal. It's over. Thanks again for everything. I know it doesn't sound like much, but I'll never forget what you've done. I really, really appreciate it. I guess this is where we part ways. Right. But can I ask you for a small favor before you go? Would you mind taking these and putting them on that tray by the rocket? As a way of remembering Agnesa. I think she would have liked it. I'll just run inside for a minute. Oh god, don't Thanks. go kill yourself. No, wait. I... Oh jeez, man. What the f Who the fuck are you and why are you here? You guys give me your fucking... Don't touch Mr. Killingsworth. Yeah, give me your bullshit back, alright? Thank you. You give me yours. Of course. Yep. Yep. Of course. A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. Thank you. Where's your good suit? Oh, I still have it, don't I? Sorry. Of course. Yeah, of course. Of course you do. You freeloading prick. <laughs> yeah, that's what he talks like, right? What the fuck? Oh, no, not that one. What the hell is his suit called? I don't even remember anymore. Did I put it in the fucking truck? I may have. Hold on. I'm... Ugh. How could I possibly... <laughs> I don't need any of this shit anymore. These are pretty heavy, aren't they? And my, uh... My clothes are in the truck. Nobody look, I'm naked. Yep. Yep. That's about right. But I can put this back on now. Hey, that helped. Watch, as I waste all of your time with bullshit fucking shit garbage. What the fuck? Seriously? Holy crap, how much shit garbage do I have? Hey, buddy, you're fucking... You're really ruining the memorial here. With your fucking T-bone steak legs and your hand and... Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Oh, you poor, poor sons of bitches. Everything's set up, buddy. And Melody's gone. Uh. Oh, right, yeah. Suit. Indeed. Sorry. Uh. I have your suit, Mr. Fox. That's the one. There you go, you snazzy son of a bitch. He's gone. Okay. Where did he go? This place doesn't have a back door. How did he do that? He's a witch. Uh, what the fuck is that? Hey, Six, you ever been <gasps> to Rito, a giant. Strange one. place. Everyone lives in this guy. This one time, I get really drunk and one guy fell off. You need to shut up, Nair. You need to feel the room, alright? Everything's horrible and sad. Hey, sorry about just leaving like this, but I'm bad with goodbyes, so please don't be mad at me. Anyway, as I said before, I really appreciate your help, and I definitely owe you one. So, you can have the place. It's not like Agnes is going to be moving in like I thought. I left you some caps as well, so get yourself some iguanas on a stick. They're super tasty. And a nuka, too. So, yeah, that's all. I don't want to get all awkward on you, so I'll just sort of bow out gracefully before I embarrass myself. Sorry about the ugly writing. I guess I'm smart about some stuff, but not so much about others. <laughs> like writing. I hope you understand. Enjoy the house and take care of yourself. Hope to see you again someday, friend. Max. Let me get eaten by dogs. I like dogs. They're pretty f oh, Wait. Hey. Come here. There's also... I don't remember where you find it, but there's also... Uh, You can find uh, some writing in the moon base of Agnesa and Max writing back and forth to each other. And all his writing is choppy like that. And all her writing is pristine. And eventually all his cute little notes to her end up becoming most of the conversation. And she just stops hey, replying. Anything going on? And um, eventually she replies 
and says, dude, can you leave me alone or something? Like, I'm busy up here. But, yeah. I forgot about that part. But, hey, we got ourselves a neat little house now. Let's make a teleport marker right here on the flower. Right here. Come on, stand on the flower. We're going to put a, a teleportation system in here. Yep, right here. Right here. This is our home. Boom shakalaka. Well, that was Boom to the Moon, and I hope you enjoyed it, my friends. And if you did, you should definitely play it yourself. Because, it, like I said, it works a lot better if you stop picking shit up. And also, holy freaking... Alright, I'm gonna have to, like, siphon all the food off in here, because it's, it's getting ridiculous. Yeah, this is actually, it's a fucking fantastic mod. There's so much. And, uh, I should probably get rid of that and kill that stupid screaming Irish prick in the back of my fucking house. But, uh... Yeah. I'm just taking up time here at this point. Damn, look how filling that is. <laughs> Some of this is from... This is so much. God, the mods have loaded me down. I am filthy fucking rich in the Fallout world now. Oh my god, already. That stupid asshole back there is just screaming his fucking ever-loving ass off. I wish this could be where I dismiss people, because it would make all of the sense. This is where everything is going to be. This is our fucking home. I'm gonna make a little place like this in the fucking story. The story is called Fallout Vagabond, by the way. It's on fanfiction.net. That's what I work on when I'm not working on something important. Or one of the other ten zillion fucking, you know, stories. So much. The Credible Hulk. That's fine. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm a rambling man. Oh, a gambling man. Yep. That was Boom to the Moon, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very big, and I'll be and ta-ta.